Hi guys, it's Ariel. Um, first off, excuse my face if I have redness or smudged makeup. I have a sunburn and turned on the camera and then realized I didn't fix my makeup. I had makeup on because I went to work today and decided to make myself look decent and then kind of forgot to fix it to make it look better. Um, so this is actually the promised fifth part of my band merch collection, which this part kind of isn't band merch, but it kind of is because, I don't know, it's not wearable because it's actually CDs, and I have a stack of them for you guys, and I'm not actually going through all the ones I have because I have quite a few that are like old ones from when I was little, and I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to show you guys these, but I'll figure it out, and um, some of these you guys will like, some of them you might not care about, some of them have stories, some of them don't. Keep in mind this might end up being a two-part video or more too, because we all know me. I'm not capable of making short videos, and I'm very good at making accidental series. Is that a word? Series. That's the word. What the fuck, brain? Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so this is actually um, a CD and a documentary. This is Pierce the Veil's Clyde with the Sky, um, and this is Wasteland. Uh, documentary which is actually freaking amazing by the way this is actually the most recent cd i've gotten um one of my friends sent it to me in a package i opened that in a whole entire video i will show it to you guys no i say i'll show it to you guys you guys can look it up in the description box um but inside it's got the documentary well this is clyde with the sky hi you you can see yourselves hello i wasn't quite expecting that um then it's a really cool booklet on the inside. Um, I just opened it up to a random page. And then in the back is the documentary. And I actually love the documentary. It is really, really good. Um, and this is the back. I don't know. I just really like it because it was unique and not quite what I was expecting. And I just, I liked it. Um, like I said, this was opened actually. I got this in a package from my friend Sarah and I open that on camera. Links are in the description box. Okay, this one. First off, you can see me. Hi. I have a feeling you're going to see me a lot during this one. That's interesting. Um, this one is actually the Art of Dying um, Vices and Virtues album and this one is cool to me because um, it is one, the case is broken. You can see the scratches. Um, and Johnny from Our Dying actually is the one that broke it, and then on the inside is signatures from Our Dying themselves. And Johnny broke it, trying to open it, and he was going to get me a new one. Like literally, he just was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'll get you a new one. I told him not to, because I'll have a story to tell. And I still tell the story, almost three years later. It's, it surprised me that it's been that long. This one is probably my favorite signature, it's from Jeff, their uh, drummer. and. That's supposed to be my name. He spelled it out loud. That was my name. It looks like that's a Z at the end and that's an N. It looks like you put Anzel and Les and Les and a smiley face. He actually spelled it out loud and you knew what he was spelling. It just didn't look like it. But I really like this. Um, and then that's the back of it. If you don't know who Art of Dying is, you are completely missing out, and I recommend checking them out. Because, like I said, you're missing out. Okay, I just decided to combine these four. I felt like it'd be easier. Um, these are all four of Three Days of Grace's current CDs. Um, I have one, um, Three Days Grace, One X, um, Life Starts Now, and Chains of the Venus. Um, Chains of the Venus is probably my least favorite album. My favorite absolutely is... Um, Life starts now. None of them are signed. I haven't gotten that happen. Yes, I can't talk. Um, this one's probably my favorite though, but I actually like all the albums. Just Transit of Venus is kind of eh to me. Um, but yeah, I have all those and I do deeply love them. Um, I plan on one day getting Adam to sign this one. I won't get the rest of Three Days Grace to sign it, but I will get Adam. Definitely. Okay, so this is, um, Revolution by, um, what was it, Evolution? I think it's Revolution, um, from Blood of the Dance Floor, and I don't actually remember why I bought this, I just did, um, 
I, for the life of me, actually don't even remember buying this. I just did. Um, I honestly don't listen to it that much. When it first came out, I was really into it. But, I don't know. It's a good album, but I don't love it. Um, this is what it looks like. And there's um, a lyric book in here. I'm too lazy to get it out all the way, but I'll show you if I can do this with one hand. Oh, I forgot what it looked like. I think it's a poster. Okay, now I have to look. I'll oh, see. I'm too lazy to open it. I'm tired. Can you guys tell? Um, this is also really not easy to do one-handed. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't hate it. I have more of their music. Um, but, I've kind of gotten where I don't listen to them that much anymore. I don't know why. I just, I just don't. I don't know why I'm like sitting here like filming nothing. I should be filming the CD still. <sighs> why do you guys watch my videos? The only drugs that I'm okay with being addicted to. It's a shame that they broke up because they are so talented. I freaking love the CD 100%. I just, I just love it. And um, I have no idea when they're actually coming back. They claimed they were coming back and then they haven't done anything. So they need to hurry up and actually do something because that would be really nice. Um, I bought this CD after hearing it online. It was like $10, I think, at Hot Topic. And it's just, if you haven't heard it somehow, you need to. Drugs, if you ever see this, come back. Okay, I decided to do these two together just because I got them on the same night. This is, um... Alan Mack and Zach Myers, and I just, I bought it in to support them, and Zach has a beautiful singing voice, and I've, Adam isn't, or Alan, I don't know why I said Adam, isn't too bad either, I, uh, I'm not a huge fan, because it's more country, and I'm not a huge fan of country, but it's pretty good, and I, this one is, um, in Graham Hill, they're somewhere between country and rock, and I got both of these, um, when I interviewed, uh, Zach and Justin Moore of Graham Hill, um, on April, back in April, there's a whole bunch of videos and stuff about that, they'll be in the description box, there'll be a lot of things in the description box, you guys should always check those, Boys Like Girls, okay, um, I could have sworn I had another Boys Like Girls album, but I looked and I do not appear to, um, this is Love Drunk, I think it's their third album, maybe second, I think maybe their new one that I haven't actually listened to yet is their third. I don't remember. They kind of dropped off Face of the Earth for a little while, and I think everyone forgot about them, and now they're back, and I still haven't quite gotten in the swing of it again. But I absolutely loved this album when it came out. I still really like it, but I haven't listened to it as much. I remember I got it for Christmas, actually, after wanting it for a very long time, and then finally got it. Um, not much to say about that, except now Love Drunk is stuck in my head. Okay, so this one my mom actually bought, mostly because she liked Monster, and then she ended up not really liking the rest of the album that much, so she ended up giving me the CD. I actually do like the album. I only really listened to Monster Hero and, uh, oh, actually, I, I'm correcting myself. I listened to the first seven, six tracks a lot. Nope, seven. I, I was right the first time. The rest I don't listen to very much, and Lucy I actually have only heard like twice because I heard what it was about and I'm just like, hell no. Don't judge me. Yeah, I might. I have all four of the Jonas Brothers CDs and Nick Jonas' CD. I do not have Joe Jonas' CD. I mean, I have it digitally, but it's honestly a crappy album. I'm sorry, Joe, if you ever see this, which you never will, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Um. I really don't like that album. I like the remake of um, Just in Love. Just because I think it's hilarious. I don't like Lil Wayne, but Lil Wayne's in it. And I think it's hilarious that he says all all the mother bitches ain't fucking with her. And I'm like, oh my god, this is in a Joe Jonas song. It just it makes me laugh. And I have a feeling he probably wrote the lyrics. So <laughs> it makes me very happy. But um, I love all the albums to death. But I honestly think the second one is probably my favorite. And the cover art for this one, though, is probably my favorite one, though. Because it's just really pretty. I actually have that on a t-shirt, but it's kind of too small. Wait, why am I telling you guys this? You just watched the band merch videos. And if you didn't, 
well, then you probably will after this, or maybe, hopefully. Okay, so this is the Way of the Income for the, um, Best Intentions album. I actually bought it when I saw them, and I also bought their EP, um, which name I, it, I just forgot, but I uh, loaned it to a friend of mine, and she still has it, and I'm frankly probably never getting it back. And um, on some level, I kind of don't care because I like this album better than I liked the EP anyway. So, whatever. Saving Abel's um, self titled album, another one that my mom bought. Just liking one song, she likes the song Addicted. That's the only one she liked, apparently. And I uh, ended up with a CD. I pretty much only listen to Addicted and New Tattoo, but sometimes I listen to the other ones. And uh, their second album's actually a lot better. Okay, Hey Monday. Well, here's what's funny about this is I don't remember how I got the CD. I just remember what happened was I discovered them via the internet. And the very next day was talking to a couple, a friend of mine and was like, hey, I just discovered this band, Hey Monday. Um, you might like them. She busts out laughing and goes, I just saw them. Like two nights ago with Fall Out Boy, because she had gone to a Fall Out Boy concert. And same thing happened with Boy Meets, and not Boy Meets World, why the fuck did I start to say that? Um, with Boys Like Girls. I discovered them right as they saw them with Fall Out Boy, and I didn't know that. It was nothing to do with that. I just sort of didn't realize what was going on, and it was just funny timing. But, um, I don't know. I like this album, but I actually don't listen to it very much. Um... The whole album's pretty good though. I really like, um, Should Have Tried Harder, How You Love Me Now, Run Don't Walk, um, and Obvious. But, I don't know. I don't listen to it very much. I actually like Cassidy on her own more. I feel like Hey Monday kind of wasn't a great use of her talent, even though she's extremely talented. But, um, they're still a good band. So, I'm not dissing anything. I'm just saying I prefer her on her own. Mayday Parade self title album. Okay, first off, I want to point out that yes, it is signed. It is not actually signed by the whole band. It is signed by most of the band. Um, the only one I didn't get to sign was Jeremy Lenzo. Ironic, because he's the one I interviewed. Um, I didn't interview him in person. In fact, he's the only one of Mayday Parade that I have not met yet. Because, um, it took us forever to get into that meeting great. And I actually just remembered I told you guys this story in another video, so... Links again are in the description. Um, by the way, if I end up putting this as a part two of the video, welcome. I probably forgot to actually say that unless it was, you know, a black and white screen and I typed it out. Um, yeah, but it's signed and I actually think it's really cool because I got that album um, early, actually, not the physical CD. I went and bought the physical CD. But, um, their manager the day before it was really sent it to me so I could think up interview questions and stuff, and I thought that was really nice. Candlelight Red! Okay, a lot of people probably don't know who they are, but I thought they were pretty good. I interviewed them at Upro 2012, and the CD was like five bucks, so I bought it, and it's pretty good. I admit I don't listen to it very often, but I did like it. Oh, it's an EP, sorry. Um, but... Yeah, like I said, it was only like five bucks, so it was totally worth it, and it's a good EP, and if you haven't heard of Candlelight Red, I recommend it. They're kind of heavier, so a lot of people might like that. Okay, Mindset Evolution, once again, I got this at Uproar, same time as I got the Candlelight Red one, and it is signed by the entire band, and I'm really hoping they come back one day, because they were really talented and really nice, and you just, yes, I was happy about it. I also helped sneak them back into the venue at one point. That made me laugh because I was trying to, I was on the phone trying to call a press contact that I ended up not having that phone number for, and they're trying to get past the fence, so I ended up helping them. I don't know if they remember that, but I thought it was funny. Get Scared's EP. Um, this is the back of it, and I actually have it's a CD itself but signed. Um. Okay, you can barely see that. No, you can see it. Okay. It's, I forget. No, I think I had two signatures, but the other one signed it in pen, so you can't see it at all. Um, Nicholas Matthews signed it for me, and 
somebody else did too, but I for the life of me don't remember which member. Sorry. I lied. Get Scared was not the one that signed it in pen. Somebody else did. I think his, that was Taylor. Yeah, that was Taylor of Drive A, and then Bruno signed it. I feel like somebody signed the CD too. Nope, never mind. No, they didn't. But maybe they signed my friends. Um, it was actually kind of cool because my mom bought the EP and then asked Bruno himself to sign it. And then he did, and then I asked Taylor, and I don't remember why I didn't get the rest of the band to sign it. I just didn't. kind of slipped my mind. Oh, you know what? I think I got my tickets signed instead. Maybe that's what it was. Yes, I have Don't Panic and Don't Panic. It's longer now. Okay, what happened was... In, okay, hold on. I'll back up. Yes, Don't Panic is signed. It is signed by Jack, Ryan, and Alex. But what irritates me is Jack and Alex has got smudged and Ryan was unavailable at that moment. My friend, I wasn't 21 yet and I couldn't go in the bar my friend couldn't find Zach, which was ironic because Zach was the only one from the window that I could see. Well, I saw Jack from time to time, but that was it. And then when Don't Panic It's Long came out, I about freaked and wanted it very badly and ended up getting it. And let's see, what number is mine? I'll look. Mine is number 2,814 out of 15,000. And, um, yes, I do plan on trying to get it signed. Mostly because, while I know I already have three of the four signatures, they're smudged, and frankly, it's not the same if you don't get the autograph for yourself. I mean, I appreciate my friend getting it for me, but I want to get it for myself. So, there you go. But I actually love Don't Panic It's Long Now, by the way. And I also have um, All Time Low Strike DVD. And I realized as I picked it up that my case is actually kind of broken. I don't know what happened there. It probably fell one too many times. This is a hilarious DVD. And I love that they thanked the entire, at the time, Hustler Club. And it takes up that much room. And that's the back of it. And, um... I've actually honestly never listened to the audio CD that comes with it, but I absolutely love the DVD. Like, it's one of those things I turn on when I'm not in a good mood, quite frequently, actually. Whenever I'm in not in a good mood, or when it's just, I feel like watching some all-time low. They're, they're funny people. Papa Roach's Connect album, I don't actually know why this is the only Papa Roach album I personally own. We also have, um, Infect in my house, or in, not Infect. I knew that's not the name, it's in Best. I'm sorry, I know that. I'm tired, shush. Um, I know nobody said anything. But, um, no, I bought this one. I think it was because I really liked the album and it was only $10 and I haven't found the other ones for that cheap yet. But, um, I do plan on buying, especially Getting Away with Murder. And I love this album. I actually really love the song, um, Leader of the Broken Hearts. I really love, um, I just dropped some titles, I've been um, still swinging, um, Before I Die Sounds the Enemy, the whole album is great, that's what I have to say about that. And then this is the back of it, and would you guys would like to see the CD? I think the CD is kind of cool looking actually, personally. So, yep, there you go, I love this album, it's really good. This is another one that, it was actually my mom's and I actually kind of stole this one from her, because, um... She never listened to it, it just, I don't know, I kind of just literally took it from her, and then she finally realized it one day and just didn't care. Um, this is the only Breaking Benjamin CD I actually own. I have their music, but this is the only CD I have physical copies of. Physical copies? A physical copy. Good job, brain. Um, and then, this is the back of it, and I actually think it's kind of cool how they use, um, like a scan of a brain for it and I just I like it this is such a good album like um I can't say anything bad about it I really just like it a lot and um my favorite one on it is probably um either I will not bow give me a sign hopeless um dear agony or um anthem of the angels except anthem of the angels kind of makes me sad I mean, this whole album, I guess, is kind of sad, except for a couple songs. But, yeah, really good album. I love it. 
It also throws me off a little bit that it's off of Hollywood Records just because a lot of Disney Channel stars are through Hollywood Records and that's kind of weird to see bands that I listen to that aren't related to Disney on there. But it happens quite frequently. Speaking of Disney Channel artists, I have Demi Lovato's first CD. This is the only one I have a physical copy of. When it came out, I just wanted it. And this is honestly the only one I really listen to of hers. I listen to her new music a little bit. But, I don't know, there's nothing quite like this album for me. And, um, I really have been attached to, um, I like La La Land a lot. And I, um, really, I don't know. I was going to say I start naming off songs, but honestly, I like the whole album a lot. Believe in Me Lately has really stuck with me, and I'm not sure why. It just, it has been one that I've actually been listening to a lot lately. I think it's because I finally see the meaning of it. And I can honestly say the CD has probably only been listened to a handful of times, and I just, like, can you see this? Her jacket reminds me of the Black Parade, um, My Chemical Romance. Thing, album, like era is what I tried to say. Um, but I just I like Demi. What can I say? I like her a lot. So that is my CD collection. As far as I think you guys will actually care, some of the other ones like Hillary Dove and um, the Backstreet Boys and things like that are in my collection, but they're old and I've just sort of managed to hold on to them since I was little. Um, maybe you guys will enjoy those. I doubt it um hopefully you guys enjoyed this and if this ended up being a series or like a two-part series or something uh hopefully you enjoyed that um by the way this is not actually the end of the uh band merch series i came up with an idea of um talking about my favorite pieces of band merch so i'm going to do it because several of you seemed interested when i said something about it on facebook um thank you for watching i'll talk to you guys later i love you goodbye